All right, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner, Jam Football, doing a draft film breakdown, this time on Jackson Powers Johnson, the center out of Oregon. And pass protection, he gave up zero sacks, zero quarterback hits, and only one pressure this past season for them. In the run game, he's a mean son of a bitch. There's obviously things that he needs to improve on at the NFL level, but this is a guy who's most likely going to go in the first round. Um, and some people think it's a lock. So let's get into it. Make sure to like and, subscri- like and subscribe to the channel. Like and subscribe, and I won't fumble over that uh, more often. All right, let's get into it with JPJ. First, we're going to go through the pass protection. Now, he didn't get a ton of reps in his career, or this past season, as just one-on-one battled with a nose tackle. They obviously happen throughout games, but the way Oregon runs their offense, they just face a lot of even fronts. But let's get into it. First play, obviously lined up here at center. So we've got this uh, three technique. We're sliding the protection there, and he's working inside. So now this is JPJ's responsibility. Now, his hands are a little more free, right? He doesn't want uh, you know defense alignment attacking his hands. Now, that often opens up his chest, right, which allows guys to get that power and get initial push. But he's got good technique, good ability to recover, and you see here, we're getting, see, you can't see the other foot, but we're getting to this hop step, right? To re anchor, and we're slowing down that rush, right? We feel that power, and as soon as he feels that power, he's powering, he's getting to that hop step and being able to re anchor. Here with the head up, nose tackle. You see, when he does get hands on a guy, obviously they quick snap this nose tackle wasn't fully ready, but you do see when he gets hands on the nose tackle, you know, the defensive tackle, he just controls the block. Like we set, strike, strike in the chest. We got good pad level. And he's got strong ass hands to control the block. Right, defensive lineman's not able to work anything at this point with with the way he's able to control that block. Here, this next play, solid. Again, with the three technique, we're sliding there. We get off the snap, we're ready to go. Now, again, he allows him to get into his chest. Now, this rusher is trying to work laterally. All right. We drop our left foot back a little far. You might want to you know, separate down here, but keep the feet moving, right? Keep your feet moving. He wants to work back power. We anchor. He's got hands locked on inside chest plate where you want him. Good stuff. Here versus Washington, they've got this, you know, this mugged up look. You're going to see the hand replacement. All right? Gives up an, an initial push in this. Defensive tackle gets under his chest. His hands are outside, high. So watch as he reworks that hand, right? Watch as he takes that right hand, reworks, gets it back inside. Now you guys got the right hand reworked, left hand, replace it. Ball gets out quick, but, you know, good hand usage. Here versus Oregon State. Again. Gives up an initial, you know, push, right? The hands are are wide. Right? You'd like to see him be a little more active with his hands. So gives that initial push, but you see how quick the hands, right? We're place. And He's not even just replacing the punch. He's work, He's getting that hand off him, right? This defensive tackle has his shoulder uh, pad, right? So he's able to rip or do whatever move he wants to work into. We work to get that off. All right, we got that right hand. We got the left hand ready for any type of move. Balls out. Good stuff. See, hands quick. Bam. Right now, they're outside. That's not the best place in the world to be. Puts this right, gets this right hand, gets it back inside. You see, he's got strong hands that he can lock on a cat. Next play. Again, you see the defensive tackle. Gets his hands in his chest. You don't want that. Right? So, you're going to have to change up your pass sets and, and, you know, be aggressive at times. But you see the feet are good. 
the balance is good. He's able to win those reps. So in pass protection, um, you know, there's not a ton of one-on-one battles against great competition, you know, so there's going to be an adjustment period in the NFL, but you see good results and you see him, you know, being, you know, having the athletic ability to re-anchor, to move laterally, like his feet are always underneath him. So good stuff in pass protection. Now in the run game, the nastiness just jumps off the page, right? Like he likes the, he likes to finish and let you guys know that he finished and won that rep. Um, you see him work combos really well, get to the second level. He just plays in the run with urgency, and it really shows. And I think it's going to translate to the next level. So let's get into into it. So first play, we're working this down block here on this, you know, three eye, almost a head up two. And we finish this. We finish this, right? We get to the angle that we want. Now, this defensive tackle is jumping gaps, right? They're running some type of, you know, run blitz or regular blitz. I guess it would be a regular blitz because of uh, the back. But he's jumping gaps. And you see the, the upper body strength, right? You see momentum versus momentum. Bam! He wins that, right? Strong hands, punch, torque, and put this guy on his ass. And then, which is very legal... You just lay down on top of him. You finish that play. Now here on this next down block to the left, this is part of the thing that I think he needs to clean up in the run game. And we see the first step, good, right? Second step, good. But then we do, once we get that contact, right, which... Hey, our helmet's in the right spot. Our hands are in the right spot. We have good knee bend. You got to keep your feet driving, right? You've got to drive from your lower body to maintain this angle and flip your hips around here, right? Instead, the feet stop, right? These feet are not churning or pumping. And this defensive tackle, you get into a wrestling match and he gets to see where the ball is. Well, he works back across your face. So, you know, watch that in full speed. Good. Keep the feet driving. Instead, they're able, to, they're able to slide over the top on him. In double teams, there is movement. Right? Let's get off the ball quick. Right? Let's get off the ball quick. Now, you want to square up a little better, get your hips together, but you do see the movement. Right? Right? We keep our feet moving. See on, on this where feet our feet are churning. We're getting push. We're washing him into the linebacker that we are comboing to anyways. And that linebacker comes off. Okay, pass it off to your uh, your guard and pick up the linebacker. Good stuff. Another double team. We're driving homeboy back five yards. We're quick off the snap. And you see that power, right? You see that power in the upper body? Keep your feet moving. Nice double team. Back is out here. You're going to combo the, to the second level. You get, Now, this is an RPO. Oregon, man, they really stretch these RPOs. I didn't, I don't, they must have got called for a bunch of penalties. But we're quick off the snap. We displace this defensive tackle down this gap, and then we pick up this linebacker, right, with aggression. Ends up being a pass, but if he hands that ball off, if he hands that ball off, we've got ourselves a fucking lane because of Jackson Powers Johnson. Because Jackson Powers Johnson moved this guy, who's a head up on the hashes, out here, and then picked up the linebacker. Unfortunately for Oregon... You get a nice little slant there. Here working another combo to the second level. Back probably should have went off of Jackson Powers Johnson. Nose tackle is taking the A-gap. The front side A-gap. We get in that shoulder. We get low pad level. We keep our feet moving. We get him where we want. We pass it off. We you know let your guard take care of it. Get to the second level. And if the back followed that, he's got a crease right here. 
Now, Oregon State does a bad job of tackling. He still gets himself a nice run. Here, just working to the second level. Just block a guy off the screen, right? Don't want to be out of control. You check, right? This defensive tackle slants it in. He may jump in this gap. You got to pick it up. So you check it, right? We check it. We check it. Okay, that's the guards. Now we get up to the second level. And we show why we're bigger and stronger than everybody else. Now here, these hammer blocks, right? When you're trying to work into the second level, you have this player here, you want him here, and you drop your hip and throw the hammer, right? You get your hip and throw it through him. And watch how it displaces the defensive tackle. Bam, makes it easy. We go up to the second level. Good stuff. I mean, just... Next play, we're going to do the same thing. Also, let's look at this guy getting bullied. Has nothing to do with Jackson Powers Johnson, but I love it. Next play, again, obviously in front of Bo Nix here. I mean, just displacing this defensive tackle. We drop our hips. Bam! Put him through the shoulder. So, a fun player to watch. And Jackson Powers Johnson. I don't know where he's going to end up, what team he ends up on. But hey, if uh, he ends up on your team, share this with your, you know, team. You know, your your other, your fellow fans of whatever team, whether it's the Cincinnati Bengals or or whoever else. Let them know. So appreciate you guys. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Check out all the other film breakdowns for the draft, or you know, our football today podcast, whatever, whatever uh, you're interested in. Appreciate you. See you on the next one. Bam.